my gift lost transparency. What happened? This gift was transparent. Let me fix it. Okay, there we go. Hey, welcome. Uh, we are continuing Unity work. Um, I couldn't wait for Monday. I must stream now. So we are going to pick up where we left off uh, a little bit yesterday doing the Unity work for the Baller Puppy. We were able to get a couple sliders and toggles working, and I think we were working on animations. Uh, so we'll, we'll pick back up there and continue working on the animations for the face, the expressions. So when we left off, we had a bunch of animations, EXP, Grin, Doubt, Paw, Love, Mad, with weird stuff going on there, but that's okay. I'm going to mask off the outlines. Uh, we have Sad. We have shock that I misspelled, and we have smile. So we're going to start setting up. Uh, I'm also going to make some animations for the ears and the tail to match those expressions. So a couple cute tail wags, some idle animations, all the ear twitches, stuff that I think will help to give the character some more life when she's animating. I'm going to go in and fix the spelling before I forget. We're going to call this folder idols. I'm going to create a new animation that I'm going to call tail idle. This will be the animation that plays on the tail whenever she's not doing anything. We're going to make another animation called tail underscore fast because I don't always use it for angry or for shocked or for anything, um, there's plenty of reasons why I want, might want the tail to go fast. We're gonna have tail fast. We're gonna have tail sad because I like a specific animation for a sad tail. And we're gonna have tail, mm, maybe just alert. I might remove that one. Next thing we're going to do is the ears. We're going to do ears, idle, ears, alert, ears, sad, and ears, mad, because I like to do like extra like angry twitches. Okay. So navigating down, what's really important is I need to go in and make sure that these are set to is animated, uh, ear is animated, is animated, and then the tail is also is animated. Oh, I forgot I'm also making, I'm making a thing. Um, it's, a, it's a little secret thing, but I guess I can, I can stream because nobody's watching. Oh, shit. Yeah, nobody's watching. Okay. Um... I'm going to call this ponytail Kelly on. And then we're going to have ponytail Kelly zero for off. And anyone who is following me on Twitter is going to know what I'm about to make. <laughs> okay. So we're going to start with the ears because they're right here and they're pretty easy to animate. So now we have ears one uh, and ears two right and left. And we're going to start making the ears animations. So for alert, I like to kind of Rotate and then unfurl the ear a little.
and then I go down the chain. So this will be the ears alert. Then we have ears mad. I try to animate as little of the ear as I can because I like to let the um, physics do a lot of the, the movement for me. Now what I like to do for ears mad is I like to have a base like look and then I will add frames of like the ears twitching like angrily. Oops, I'm rotating both. And again, with physics, this looks a lot better. There we go. So what I'll do is I'll zoom out so that I have a nice long animation. And I'll do that a couple more times. I'll do the same thing with the, with the other ear. Now, if I play the animation, the ears will twitch occasionally while the angry expression is active. Next up is ears sad. And those are just, you know, the floppy little ears that are down and sad about it. Uh, then we have ears idle, which are going to be mostly just as is. And occasionally I'll have the ears like move and like twitch up or wiggle a little. checking for speed. There we go. Then another one where the right ear flops a little. I like to keep it very, very subtle since these aren't supposed to distract from uh, the avatar itself or the person wearing the avatar. It's just supposed to give a bit of life to the avatar so it doesn't look like it's just dead when it's not being puppeted. There we go. And with physics, that should look nice and normal. I'll space these out a little. Astra Sinclair, big wave. Hello. Welcome. Hope you're having a good one, dude. Right now we're back at the unity grind. Plushy self, hello, welcome. Esther Sinclair, you are having a good day? That's good, I am having a pretty phenomenal day myself. I slept great, I woke up and I had some fried chicken for breakfast and then got some work done, got some housework done and then now I'm doing some more work. Hey Rhonda, hope you are doing good. We're doing some unity work today. Oh, and I also need an expression for boop. Boop. I almost forgot. Animation, boop. Followed by boop off.
I'm doing all right. It was fun hanging out the other day. Yeah, it was. It was super fun. I didn't, I, so I always get really bad headaches in VR. It just is what it is. Um, and I didn't think I would be sticking around for so long because I did get a headache, but I was like, dude, this is so much fun. I'm just, I'm just going to suffer. And I just drank more so that I couldn't feel it. <laughs> Next, I'm going to start doing the tail stuff. So I first want to make my tail idle, which is just going to be a nice simple tail wag. Yeah, yeah. I'm actually having a Angry Orchard Imperial Crisp Cider right now. Um, I'm just sipping on it for, you know, it's the end of my day. And uh, welcome to the stream. You'll see here that we have cats, pink-haired chibis, and a rotating dog. <laughs> I wish I had those. Um, the big girl gummies will be legal to sell this year in my area, so I'll be able to purchase, which I'm very excited about. All right, so we have our tail. I'm gonna go ahead and hit record. And I'm going to start working on a idle animation of the tail wagging. These always take me a while. I'm just really bad at looping animations. Okay, so it starts here. And then it rotates one, two, three. Or just one, two. Let's do... Actually, wait. One, two. And then it goes back. Then it goes one, two, and then back. Okay, so that just should just rotate. Okay, and then I select everything and I set it to auto. Yeah, there we go. I'm so good at Unity animations. I never fuck it up. I never have to remake anything and I never have to uh, fiddle fuck around. Okay, so this is a nice simple idle tail animation. Um, I'm gonna leave it here for now. If I choose to add more stuff later, it's whatever. But for right now, I'm just gonna stick with this and I'm gonna copy it so that I can paste it, for example, like into the tail fast and then just shrink it down to make the tail fast. Yeah, it's much faster. Um, and actually, I feel like it's actually rotating a little too much. Let me go back and look at that. Uh, it might look fine with physics, but it looks more like it's rocking back and forth instead of actually wagging. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, oop, make some changes. Um, actually, I think that's what I was already working. So let me do... There we go. That's what it needs. Okay. We're going to go one, two, we're going to put it back to normal. Then we're going to go one, two, and then it's going to go back to normal. Oh, I wasn't hitting record. Duh. Dude. One, two, back to normal, followed by one, two, followed by back to normal. Okay, that feels more normal. And then we do an auto. And then I copy this and I paste it into the fast. And then we just make this faster. There we go. Okay. So that should look good. Now we need a tail alert. Hold on. Tail alert, record. Okay. 
I think that looks correct. It's always hard to tell until it's like actually doing physics. Weird. Oh, okay. It just needs to go up a little. Okay. Ooh, it's doing all sorts of weird stuff. We're just gonna delete that. Okay. Alright, let's try that again. One, two. Back to normal. Followed by one, two. Followed by back to normal. Hmm. I don't know if that's going to look good, but we'll just have to wait and see. Shh, quiet phone alarm. Okay, next we have tail sad. So this will be a little sad tail wag. This is going to require a few more bones. And then same thing, we're gonna have the tail move ever so slightly. And then go back to normal. We can delete all those, we don't need those. And then two, four, six. Wait, hold on. Oh, this isn't at 40. Two, four. There we go, 60. Followed by normal again. And then we're gonna auto clamp that. Uh. Puppy will be it's a cute name. Out of curiosity, are the fur around the hands going to be toggled and little immunity? Kind of. So I'm still not sure what I want to actually make a toggle in game in VR chat. Um, but everything is a blend shape that you can use in the game or in Unity. So for example, the fluff here. Uh, in fact, it would just be easier for me to open up the blend file and show you what kind of options there are. One second. Oh yeah, I'm happy you're excited. I have been having so much fun working on this. Okay, so here's the puppy in Blender. And there's a lot of blend shapes. Um, so to show off, first we have the flat chest, which is still, I have to make the materials work for that. Thicker neck, thinner neck, shoulders thick, shoulders thin, arms, hands, the beans themselves, the claws, uh including removing them. Bigger breasts, smaller breasts, the actual chest to the waist, the hips, the belly, uh, the legs as well. And then we also get into stuff like um, the leg shape, like making them more bowed or making them straight. Then we also have uh, the beans and claws for the feet as well. 
Then it gets into the fluff. So we have like arm fluff large, uh, which is not symmetrical. Huh? What am I looking at here? Weird. Okay, I just found a little bug. That's weird. Let me try blending this from shape. Huh? Weird. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna have to remake that blend shape. That was weird. So this is supposed to make the arm fluff fluffier, uh, but I'll have to fix that. Then we have uh, making the fluff small. Then we also have removing the fluff entirely, and then the same thing for the leg fluff. There's bigger, there's smaller, and there's removing entirely. And then there's also the tail fluff removal. Um, did I include ear fluff removal? I think I did. Did I forget ear fluff removal? Hold on. I didn't add an ear fluff remove. I have to fix that. Hold on a second. Remove ear fluff. Okay, let me fix a couple of fluffs, then we're back to Unity. These have to be fixed. There we go. Uh, by default, her chest is about this big. Let me turn on uh, shading. Her chest is about this big. There are also a couple blend shapes that change the breast size, though I kept it very small because in most of the changes, if you change it too much with the mesh, the, the weights don't work. Um, we have a slightly larger breast and we have a slightly smaller breast. And then we also have the flat chest. And okay, so now we have, and I'm also really happy with all of the customization here. So we, of course, have, like, all of her normal blend shapes and, like, her blink and stuff. Um, but then we also have, um, I added more lashes as an option, bigger lashes as an option, removing the lashes entirely up and down. Uh, I also made it so you can make the eyeliner sharp or smooth. I also added different eyebrows, like big round, small round, long thin and long thick. I also added stuff for the nose. You can make it bigger or smaller or remove it entirely. I also added a big schnoz option, which just makes it big. A rounder face option, which removes some of the chin definition. Uh, and a pointier face, which adds more chin definition. And then a cute little chin dent, where it just kind of like tucks the lip in. And of course, fat cheeks for a little rounder thing. Uh, a snoutier snout, which is a little broken, actually. Huh. I need to fix that. Snout longer got broken. Oops. So I'll have to fix that, too. Snout shorter still works, though. Yeah, I, I have a couple different little baller avatars in the works, but I was really excited about the little doodle I did for the puppy. I just thought she was so... Peppy? Um, peppy puppy? And I just really wanted one. <laughs> Ooh, I forgot to show you. I also added, um, she has a couple different feet toggles as well. We have tiptoes, which just adds a little, little tippy toe because some people like that look. We also have digitigrade one and digitigrade two. For now, no. Um, I may. I'm still grappling with if I want to add more hair options. Because here's the thing, I'm at the polygon limit for uh for it to immediately go to pour, you know? Uh and that's with all the fluff and with like four outfits. So I'm at the polygon limit. I could so here's the thing, here's the thing. Her ponytail is so bouncy and cute. Let me show this off really quick. And I could get rid of some of that bouncy cuteness to get a better ranking. I could have her be good instead of a medium. Uh, but when you see this bounce, you're going to understand why I'm choosing not to. Oops, hold on, I gotta...
but I won't go to very poor. I'm not going to sell a very poor avatar. Okay. Look at this shit. Yeah, like, I can't let go of that. I have to have the bounciest ponytail. Um, it's just very important for her, for her cute little workout outfit. Like, here, let me turn it on. Like, it's just absolutely necessary that, that, that she looks like this and bounces around. Oh yeah, and she has little, little paws on her shoes, on her cute little shoes. The textures are still kind of a work in progress. Um, there's a few touch-ups I need to do to the clothing and the body, and then I also just haven't made hair texture at all. This is just a placeholder. Eat it! The real question is fork and knife or hands? I, I eat my pizza with a fork and a knife and that upsets some people. But in my defense, I grew up on a laptop and I didn't want to get like my trackpad greasy. I love how this is coming out for real. Thank you. I'm having so much fun with her. I think that she is probably going to be simultaneously my cleanest and most feature rich avatar. And they tomboy Bob. Dude, you have no idea. Let me show you the doodle. Here's what I wanted to have happen. Kitty, 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 I can hear you crying. I know you want food. You have 20 more minutes. <laughs> You're the puppy girl. Um, do I have Psy? I do. Look, this is what she was going to have. She was going to have this optional hair. She was going to have like this like like really messy, like she had just like pulled her hair out of the ponytail. Uh, polygon limit. Why are you so mean to me? All I want is four outfits, shoes with laces, and all the fluff. Is that too much to ask for? But yeah, this little doodle turned into this. I will buy a very... I'm, I'm tempted. So here's the thing. A lot of the times I've seen people have, like, uh, optional optimized versions. But I'm very... I feel like if you have multiple versions of an avatar, you always just pick one. You always end up favoring one. And I don't want to try to manage multiple versions. Like if things need to be updated or if things need to, um, like if I just make a change to something. Yeah. Rip me messy hair. Honestly, honestly, VR chat, VR chat, give me more polygons. That's the only thing holding me back. Oh, ads, I'm so sorry. I don't know how to control when the timing of those. I thought I got to like time those. Is there like a button I'm missing where I can like snooze the ad? Want to buy this av I I have a doodle. I have a doodle I want to show um about like an edit myself. I'm so sorry, Pleasy. I it's my first time streaming now that I have affiliate and I can run ads and I thought it was going to like I thought you were able to like like postpone ads or like snooze them. I planned on doing it when I went to go feed the cats. I'll have to look into that more. Like, I'll have to actually look at, like, how to run your stream tutorial. Um, speaking of, of making... Okay, you can snooze them three times. I'm gonna have to find out where to go to snooze. Um, I have a specific Doberman. Thank you. I have a specific Doberman character that I want to turn this baller puppy into later. 
I want to turn this into an avatar. Yeah, yeah, I want it. I want my little punk puppy with like her fishnets and her long flowy hair. I'm super, I'm super excited. I have plans. Okay, back to Blender. So I need to fix the longer snout for some reason that is borked. Blend from shape. And I should be able to fix this pretty easy. I'm just going to grab everything that it should have, not the hair. I, oh, thank you. I have... I've been working for a while on Avatar shit now. I think I'm going on like four years. Five years? I'm going on five years. And it has been nothing but fun and rewarding. Okay, longer snout, but I also need to push this back a little. Here's where I can disconnect. Because I still want it to look a specific way. First Abby I've seen... Thank you! The baller cat, actually, she was one of the first full furry avatars I made, where I was like, okay, I have to stop half-assing furry. If I'm gonna make, like, cute furry avatars, I need to actually make them look good. Like, not, like, anime knockoffs. Okay. Let me just make sure this works before I call this done. K -ch -u -ah. Yeah, she's working. Okay. Don't know why that broke, but that's fixed. And then with this one too, there was a fluff remove that wasn't working. I think it was, no, it was the arms fluff large wasn't working. So I had to remake this one. Uh. There we go. Okay. So now that she has been fixed, fixed. Um, I can go ahead and put her back in Unity. Speaking of optimization and why VR chat should grant me specifically more polygons, I've worked so hard to get this girl down like uh, like in skin mesh renders and shit. All of her clothing all of her clothing is one skin mesh renderer. And I use a combination of blend shapes and scaling and alpha maps for my toggles. Give me more polygons! Give me like 10k more! I want them! I'll use them wisely! Yeah, she's three skin mesh renders. She's, I think, four materials? She doesn't have to be. I can make the shoes part of the clothing. Uh, the shoes, the clothing, the body, the head. So she, I think she's five. She's like five materials. Um, and I could totally bake those down. I try to, I imagine, I try to plan my materials based on what I think people want to replace. Like if you're customizing an avatar, you might replace the clothing or the hair, or you might think the shoes are ugly, or you may want different shoes entirely. So I'm constantly trying to find the balance between optimized and customizable for clients. Okay, so now we can export this. Uh, FBX baller puppy. And I'm going to hit play as part of my superstition. And we're going to head back over to Unity. Oh, there we go. We're going to head back over to Unity. And I'm going to replace my FBX. I have not made any changes to the armature. So Unity will be nice to me and it will not break. There we go. Yeah, like looking at the builder, right? She's only... She's only medium right now because of her fizz bone count and her skinned mesh renders. So I think it's two skinned mesh renderers for good, if I remember correctly. So I, I never changed it from its default mode. Um, 
I, I just left it on lay mode. So I think if I, right now I could make her good if I cut a bunch of her fizz bones from her tail and her hair. And if I combined her body and head mesh, she would have two skin mesh renders and she would have the proper number of fizz bone transforms. But it would make my toggles more complicated and annoying. Um, and I want the bouncy ponytail. I, I've earned the bouncy ponytail. I optimized everywhere so that I could have like 50 more bones. They're mine. I've earned them. I think VR chat should implement a system where you can earn polygons. I want to earn some more polygons to use in my avatars. <laughs> yeah, the bounciness is essential. We have to have a bouncy everything and a wiggly tail. <sighs> Speaking of, I need to open up a previous project so that I can reference how to do the tail <laughs> the tail and ear animations because I don't know how to do them. <laughs> I don't remember. Like how to implement them. Actually, okay, it's 10 till it's 10 till I feed my cat. So now's actually a good time to go feed them. Um, I'm going to be back in just a few minutes. Let me remove the break timer. Okay. I'm going to be back in just a few minutes, guys. I need to go feed my cats. Um, now's a good time. If you don't have any water, grab some. Do a stretch. VRB.
All right, we're back. Thank you for your patience. The cats were so hungry and they were not happy that I was waiting uh, to feed them on time. They really wanted me to feed them early. And it's a bit of a hassle to feed my cats because I can't just dump food in a bowl and leave because Boo has special bladder medication food and Yvonne has special kidney medication food. So I have to feed those two separately and Boo is aggressive with his food so he needs to be fed in my bedroom so I have to let him out when he's done because he doesn't like to be locked up. And then Yvonne is sitting right next to me because if I put her in a room alone she cries and refuses to eat. I have to save her. I have to protect her while she eats. <sighs> so right now my, my room smells really bad. <laughs> Okay, back to Unity. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reference one of my other models, the Fairy Fox, um, to remind myself about how I did uh, the hair and tail animations. Yeah, yeah, poor baby. Yeah, she's so fucking sweet. Gets too sad to eat alone, has to be babysat to eat yummy wet food. Honestly, same. <sighs> okay, so looking at my right and left hand, um, I'm going to set up some animations. So I'm going to open up my notepad because I like to try to keep organized. Um, I need to fix, I need to finish the hair texture. Use texture. I also need to add flat to clothing and export flat and breast decal for clothing. Okay. So we have several expressions we can choose from. We have doubt, grin, ha. Huh, Love, mad, sad, shock, and a simple smile. Now, I personally like to do it so that, um, for example, right and left peace sign are smile separately, but then together a right and a left peace sign equals grin. Um, there's a lot of different ways that people like to do gestures. Um, Personally, I don't like having gestures, like, on my hands. I feel like it's very unruly and you're always making a lot of weird faces. I like to have my gestures as a toggle, but I know a lot of people prefer to have gestures on their hands. So one thing I know that I definitely want to make is fifth, left, and right should be anger or mad. Uh, peace, L and right should be smile. And then together, so peace, left and right should be grin. So you smile on peace sign, but then you grin when you have like two peace signs. Point. L and point right, I think I like to have as sad, but I like to have point L and right as shock, horror. Rock and roll. Right and left will be love. Hmm. What else should I do? Rock and roll left and right can be, what's a good one here? I think all I have left is doubt and ha. Huh? I think doubt's a funnier face than ha, huh, personally. I 
Actually, let's move these two thumbs up. So thumbs up left and thumbs up right should be doubt. And then thumbs up left and right should be huh. And this sounds like gibberish, but I'm making notes. Um, I'm going to separate these by jester. I guess some of these are double jesters, like point and piece. Oh, the reason I also want to have these written down is because I'm going to be referring to these jesters, uh, specifically their numeric values, such as fist one, open two. I'm going to be referring to these while I am making my tail, while I'm setting up my animators for my tail and my uh, ears. So fist is one, piece is four, point is three, rock and roll is one, two, three, four, five, and thumbs up, I think it's what, seven? Yeah, seven. I might actually change love to gun, actually. So six, gun, R and gun left will be love. Okay, let's start setting these up. So in order to do the double gestures, 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 not gesture. Um, so for example, we have fist. Uh, I want mad to be both fists at the same time so you can't accidentally trigger it. So I'm actually going to drag XP mad here and I'm just referencing my other stuff because it's been a while since I've had to do these. Um, yeah, okay, pretty simple. So in order for XP mad to become active, gesture right and gesture left must both equal one. If they do not both equal one, then mad will not activate. Then I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to bring mad into it. Gesture left and gesture right. Gesture, gesture. E for equals, and these both need to equal one. I'm also going to turn off uh, cam transition to self. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add my next expression. I'm just going to go down my list I made. So now we have peace. Peace left and peace right are both going to be smile. So I can just drag these right in. And now peace will make a smile. I also have peace left and peace right equal grin. So now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to be grin in. And can transition to self is off. And grin can only activate... When gesture right and gesture left, gesture, sorry, both equal four. And then I just go in and I do that for all of them. So I have point, point left and point right are going to be sad. And then point together is going to be shock. Next up is gun. Gun left and gun right are both just going to be love. There's not going to be anything crazy with this one. And lastly is thumbs up. So thumbs up left and thumbs up right are going to be doubt. 
And then ha huh is going to be activated when both thumbs ups are active. That's going to be equal to seven. And I believe I set these up correctly. We can test by going to the gesture manager. Gesture. Okay, so now fist should not do anything, but double fist makes her angry. They're not resetting. Hmm. Did I miss a can transition to self? I did not. That's weird. Are any of these set to can send transition to self? Well, that's not supposed to work that way. OMG, unity issue. Those never happen. Hmm. It's stuck. Weird. Yeah, that's not supposed to happen. Okay, let's find out why. So an easy way to find out why is to activate something and then look at the animator to see what the animator is animating. So for example, if I do fist one, uh, it should be trying to do whatever is in fist one, which is not much. Um, but if I go in and activate fist right, now she's mad. Uh, if I click on the model, ah, that's right. There's something I'm supposed to turn off here. My bad. Um, I'm not great at Unity. Uh, I, I've learned what I learned in order to make, um, in order to make VR chat models and that's it. Okay. So just a right cannot equal one. And I do the same thing for the rest of these. So for point, gesture right cannot equal three. For piece, I think that's right. Let me double check. Piece, yeah, piece has one. So piece cannot equal four. Gun does not have one of those, but thumbs up does. Cannot equal seven. I have to go in and do that here. Yeah. Um, I am serviceable. I have serviceable unity knowledge. I have learned what I need to in order to make my models. And I've learned a lot about, uh, unity. Um, I learn something new every time I work on an avatar. Uh, but I do often go back and I reference my own previous models. Uh, because obviously I had something working there, so I can just replicate that to get it working here. Just like this. So now she's going to animate perfectly with no glitches. Anger? It's not working. Why isn't it working? Let's look. So she is now transitioned to idle, but that's not reflecting. Hmm. What am I missing now? Just your right equals, just your left equals zero. Yeah, that makes sense. Hmm. What have I set up wrong here? Oops. What am I missing? Is it because I don't have an exit? 
Hold on, something's being funky. Let me save and restart Unity. When in doubt, just restart Unity. Okay, so let's just try just playing it again. So she's becoming angry, but she's not leaving angry for some reason. So she's transitioning to idle, which is what I think she's supposed to do, but for some reason Matt is sticking around, but can transition to self. Hmm. I've done something wrong. All right, give me one second. I'm going to look back at a previous project and just, just see what I'm missing. Okay, so if I look at previous projects, have I done anything differently? I know that stuff like this can cause issues, so I'm just going to delete all of this. And I think I just add like a, like an empty state. Yeah. And that should prevent it from creating new stuff underneath. Let's see if that might have caused an issue. They're stacking up like can transition to self is is toggle, but it's not. That is not equals can transition to self. This might be another one we just have to come back to later. I'll have to do some mining off camera. Huh. Huh, indeed. Maybe it has to do with that mask stuff. Let's try turning this off. No, it's set to none. That's correct, I think. Hmm. All right, we're going to have to go back to that. I don't know what I did wrong. All right, let's move on. So now we have to add our ear animations. And our 
hail animations. We're going to set those weights to 1. And the way these work, let me see if I, let's go with the tail because I want to see the tail wiggle. So we have our any state, the exit could be wherever, and we have our entry. We're going we're gonna to want an idle. So let me go ahead and grab my tail idle. And we're going to transition from the any state to the idle. And we're also going to add the extra tail stuff all around. So we have tail sad, tail fast, and tail alert. So we're going to make some decisions on how we want the tail to animate. So specifically, let's start with the sad. That one's easiest. So I'm going to add a tail sad and it will activate uh, during the sad expressions. My sad, if I, this is why we keep notes, sad is point uh, left and right being three. So if gesture left equals three, but is not equal to gesture right three, or, this is an or statement now, or if gesture right is equal to three, but gesture left is not equal to three, because gesture right and left together is actually equal to shock, which I would want something like tail alert. Uh, we're going to turn off cam transition to self. Same thing here, we're going to turn that off. And in theory, that should just work. And I'm also going to add if gesture left and gesture or or gesture right, my bad, or gesture right is equal to, actually, wait, is that how I want to set that up? I always really suck at tail animations. Like setting these up is really hard for me. <laughs> so let's just start with this for now. I can make changes if I need to equal to, equal to zero. Okay, so let's go ahead and test that. So if I load up gesture manager, so now our set, oh, our idle is working, which looks very nice, very puppy. So if we do Finger point, sad. Her tail does a little sad wag, which is what we want. And if, so the tail is functioning correctly, but for some reason not the, not the face, which is weird. Oops. And now she's a monster. It's acting like cam transition to self is on, but it's not. Wait, did I remember to turn on, turn on right defaults? That's an option. That's the thing I have on, right? That might be it. When I was, t yeah, that's it. Okay. I was taught to work with right defaults on. I've been told by multiple people opposite things. I've been told by a lot of people that right defaults off is how you're supposed to do it. And I've also been told that on is how you're supposed to do it. I don't actually know. I only know how to optimize the modeling part. And all the tutorials I've ever found use right default. So we're going to have to leave that on. Otherwise I can't get technical support from other, <laughs> from my peers. Okay, so now this should work. So fist and fist is anger. And if one of those fists goes away, she goes back to normal. And if sad, her tail, she's so sad. And now she's not anymore. Wait, it's still not working. Um, why? Oh, because I also have to do the right hand. I think. Did I do the right hand? 
Did I miss one? I thought I got it all. Does the idle rate default? Is that a thing? Hold on. I have to reference my... Okay, yeah. So idle also needs a rate default. Okay. Okay, let's try that again. So now, sad, not sad. Sad, not sad. Sad, shot. Now back to sad. Now back to nothing. Now she's angry. Now she's fine. Okay, perfect. So we figured that out. Now we need to continue adding the tail and ear stuff. So back to the tail stuff. So now I want it so that if both left, right, and uh, or sorry, left and right are equal to sad, which is point, which is three. The tail is alert because she is shocked. Um, so I think I need to set this. I don't think I need to set this any particular way now because the way this should be set up now. I forgot to turn off. Transition to self, didn't I? Yeah. So now the way this is set up is when left and right are both zero, her tail will not uh, do the extra animation. It'll just be normal. And when she's sad, it'll be sad. And when she's shocked, it'll be alert. Ah, wait, it's still doing that, I think. Is it? What is she doing? Oh, is the animation just, just suck? Yeah, the animation just sucks. Okay. Well, that's just disturbing looking. So phallic. Tail alert just shouldn't animate <laughs> at all, actually. Maybe a very slight wiggle. Oops, record. There we go. All right, let's try that. And because I can just change the animations, it should just work. Okay, so she's idle wagging. And now she is shocked. Okay, that looks a lot better. There we go, that looks a lot better. Okay, then we can do the tail fast. Now the tail fast, I want to happen when she is grinning. No, wait. Hmm. Hold on. I have an idea. I think I want to add a second tail fast animation because I want her to be extra happy when she grins. So this would be the normal tail fast, right? Um, let me make a tail happy maybe where I just curl the tail a little more. So tail happy, where I make it a little slower and I just curl the tail. So for that, we need to go down the line and grab a few of these. I'm so bad at tail wags, dude. Uh... Hey, Volker Hippogriff, how you doing? Good day. 
Today we're working on some Unity stuff. I'm struggling to make tail animations as always. That's how you do it. You make it like more wiggly the other way. Okay. Yep. Unity stuff. We are actually setting up all of the stuff that allows the character to do everything in game. So for example, if I pull up Jester Manager, so right now she has an idle animation for her ears and her tail, so she has a nice wagging tail. She also has different expressions that are toggled by her hands. Sad and angry, which also have their own, like, oh, oh, something's broken. Oh, wait, it's because I was messing with the tail animations. Those are broken right now. Don't look at them. Um, she also has, like, shoes and socks toggles and, like, different clothing options. And her flat chest toggle. Right now we're working on making a couple of tail animations so that we can have uh, the character react with her, uh, not just her face, but with her ears and her tail and just make her seem more alive. Okay, so now we also have a tail happy. So I want tail uh, fast to activate during grin. And I want tail happy to activate just during smiles. So this is where I'm going to use an or. We're going to do gesture left equals smile is four piece. And gesture right equals four. And then if gesture right and gesture left both equal four, that is when it will turn into the tail fast. So now if she has one peace sign, her tail is just happy. It's just a wiggly little tail. And if she has two peace signs, it speeds up. Okay, so this is a nice fast tail wag, but I feel like it needs to be a bigger tail wag. I want it to be visible from the sides. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna adjust the animation. All right, let's try that. Oops, I accidentally opened up everything. Okay, so now she's doing her normal gesture. Gesture. So now she has a wiggly. And there we go. This is a little better. It's still going more wiggly than I wanted it to. Um, I think I need to actually try to animate this correctly. Okay. So tail fast. So I think what I need to do is I actually need to whip the tail one way or another. Like whoa, 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 whoa. I think that'll do better. So just changing up the timing a little should help fix this. Yeah, that's a lot better. Okay. So now, when she's looking all literally starry-eyed and happy, um, her tail's gonna be looking happy. And then when she's just regular grinning, it's just the regular happy. Okay, beautiful. Okay, the next thing I wanna add is a tail curl, because I like to do some sort of, like, 
cute animation during the love phase. Love face. Tail. Curl. And then I want the tail to wag. I'm going to do 10. There we go, and then we just slow this down. Probably like one minute. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add So now I'm going to add this to my tail animations. Then we have tail curl. So I want tail curl to happen during love, which is going to be gun right and gun left, number six. So this is going to be another or statement. So I want this to happen during gesture left equals six or during gesture right equals six. Now what that means, since this doesn't have like a double up I can follow up on, I need to make a separate state for when gesture left uh, is equal. God, how do I do this again? Hold on. Unity shit. Gesture right and gesture left. Both equal six. Because when both of them equals six, wait, no, that's not right. Hold on. I'll remember it when I see it not work correctly, I'm sure. I'll remember as soon as it's not working. Trust me. Okay, so let's test this. 
So if we go to our gesture manager, we have gun, which is happy face. And there's a cute little curl animation. And then it stays as long as I have one of these active. But if both are off, then it goes back to normal. Okay, beautiful. And all right, as short a stream as it is, unfortunately, I think I do need to cut it now. Um, I had something that I wasn't sure was going to happen tonight uh, with a friend, and it turns out it is happening. So unfortunately, I'm going to ditch y'all. Sorry. I'm kidding. Um, it's something that was pre-scheduled, but I wasn't sure it was going to get canceled. So... Uh, it's the weekend. I wasn't even sure if I was going to stream or not, but I will definitely be streaming for much longer tomorrow in the entirety of next week. I'm very much looking forward to hopefully getting this baller, this baller puppy pushed out quick. Ha, getting this puppy pushed out quick. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, I will see you guys Monday. Have a good rest of your weekend.